Welcome back to Al's Freedom Bench. Tonight we're going to take a look at cleaning and shining that 9mm brass that we worked on last night. But before we do, I wanted to give a shout out to Redbone10 or comment down below. Reminded me that I had the iPad here back in stock. Hopefully this will give us a little bit better video. Hopefully it'll upload to YouTube a little bit better. So shout out to Redbone. Let's head over to the bench. So tonight's video is not going to be real long, pretty plain, pretty simple, no rocket science here. We got some brass, it's fairly dirty. You can see these are the cases that we worked on last night, you can see how dirty they are. And then to the right there we've got a Winchester 9mm Luger that I pulled out. You can see that that one's not really all that clean as well, so we're going to see if we can kind of tackle Winchester here tonight and see see what we can do in terms of getting this brass cleaned up and maybe shining it up a little bit, see if we can make it look real nice. So what we're going to do is, I've got this jug right here. It's actually an old Metamucil fiber jug that I pulled the label off and stripped it down and cleaned it out. And that's what we're going to use as our tumbler. Since I don't have a rock tumbler or a specialty made brass tumbler. We're just going to do it the old-fashioned method. And our components that we're going to use tonight, so we pan over here, we're going to use just our basic Ajax dish cleaner. And we're also going to swoop over here, take a look at some of this Turtle Wax, actually great value brand. And we're going to see how this stuff works on some of this brass to see if it'll clean it up. Now a couple thoughts before we head into this thing is that everything that I've seen online is, is that you can indeed in fact over clean this brass. So I've listened to guys who have tumbled their brass, used all kinds of cleaners, all this bells and whistles type stuff, and they actually over clean it. You tumble this stuff for two, three, four hours and you can actually clean it so much that it begins to tarnish and it begins to fade and it just doesn't have any shine or anything like that. So the plan is that we're going to take some of this stuff here, throw it all in there with some hot water, roll it around for maybe a half hour back in the house while we're watching some TV, open it out, drain the water, shake it out, and see what we got. So we'll get all that loaded up. We'll see you in a bit. All right, so we're back. We got our stuff ready to go here. I've got our water filled up in here about three-fourths of the way there. You have to take my word for it. And to be honest with you all, this is just going to be see what happens. This could be an epic fail. Or this could be the greatest su success ever. I don't know. We're going to have to check it out. We're going to have to see what's going on. But this is just a test. This is just basic at home supplies dump it in see if it's going to clean up some brass and we'll see what happens the one thing i do know for sure is that we don't want to use too much of this stuff so we're going to take this stuff here and just put a real little bit in there a little bit there and then for this stuff i'm going to do about half a cap full Okay, let's just do another one of those. We'll see what happens here. There we go. All right, just wash that cap off in there. Get that cleaned off. Okay, so now all we gotta do is get the lid on there tight. Start rolling it around. So one of the things that I noticed so far is that this cap leaks. So there's not going to be any TV watching tonight. I'm going to sit here and roll this jug for probably 20 minutes. Try not to spill water everywhere. 
check back in here in a few. So now that that misery is over, uh, we're going to take this thing outside and get the hose out and dump it out and slosh it around a little bit, get some of that soap out of the cases, out of the brass. All right, let's see how we did. It's not super clean, but let's see if we can get a better shot here. I don't think it's too bad. First time. Household products. Not really know what you're doing. I think I'd call that pretty good for first time we'll work on the recipe we'll... so after a little bit further inspection I gotta say not really too thrilled about the process here um, you can see there on the fourth one from the left you can see some spots there some spots there in the middle and what I did here was I grabbed five different head stamps so we can take a look at the primer pockets and just kind of look inside the case to see if anything actually got cleaned. So, if we zoom in here a little bit. And let the camera focus a little bit. On the left there, we got a PMC round. Then we got MXT, Ammo Inc., Winchester, and then Federal, I believe, is there on the right. And you can see there on that federal case, that primer pocket is really quite dirty. So, I think we're going to have to go back to the drawing board here. 